you follow me on social media, you know I like to play around with a lot of exotic PLA filaments. And today I want to talk to you about a new filament that I found, and that's Filamentive's Carbon Fiber PLA. Now, this isn't the only carbon fiber PLA on the market. There's plenty of others, for example, Protopasta, which I've done plenty of videos and posts on in the past. Today I want to talk about Filamentive's. Now, what's brought this video up is I've posted a lot of pictures of these two skulls printed in filamentous carbon fiber on social media the past couple days and weeks. I've got a lot of questions about how I got this, the results I did and the polish on this one skull. Now I want to I talk about the settings first because I feel like that's a really good base start point if you want to have a really nice finished print. And what I did with this is straight off the printer I sanded it with about 150 grit sandpaper. Now I slowly worked my way up with about five different grits of sandpaper until I got to about 2000. And once you get to 2000 wet and dry, you, you really start to get all of your little scratches and all the little uh, dents and stuff out of this, you get a really nice shine. Now, one difference between this and Pro Pasta's carbon fiber filament that I found is this is less dense, it's not as heavy of a print. It's also more of a gray instead of a dark black like Pro Pasta's is. And that could be because of a few different things, and that could be mixture and, and everything else. So I can't really speak about the strength of these. But I can and want to talk about how I got this finish. Now, after I sanded this down and I got the finish that I was really looking for, I took Minmax polyurethane, and I took a, a foam brush so I didn't have to deal with any of the cleanup, and I applied very thin layers. And I let those layers fully cure and dry before I buffed it, and went over it with about a thousand grit sandpaper, just enough to make the, the finished surface cloudy again. And I applied another really thin coat of polyurethane. Now I did this about nine or ten times. I wasn't exactly keeping count at the time. But until I got a really nice thick finish on it. And I wasn't exactly satisfied with that finish at that point. So I used what I had around me. And I actually had new, uh, new finish car polish and that's actually what I used to get this really nice shiny reflective surface and I did a few coats of the car polish on it just as if I was washing and buffing a car and that's really it's what has got this finish and the really cool thing about this is with all the handling and showing off and pictures I've done with this it still has its really nice finish and it still buffs up really easy with a light cloth now I'm going to include some close-up videos and pictures at the end of this video so you can see the different the layer height and the actual shine from this. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try as quickly as I can to answer any questions.